You're not a loser. You're not, you don't suck. You're not weak. That doesn't mean you don't have no faith. You had a moment. We are going through some trying times right now, and this isn't the norm for everybody. Everybody, to a certain extent, is experiencing anxiety, depression, and just a lot of emotions right now. And I wanna let you know, if you have a moment where your fear wins for that moment, however long that moment might last, you're gonna get past that. Because we're sitting here right now. That moment didn't last. Moments, they will come. Each day that we get up, we have to remember that we are stronger than our fears. We have to remember who we are in Christ. We have to remember who God has told us that we are. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seeger Family. I'm Ivy. Happy Friday and thank you for joining me for another Friday Mommy Moment. And no, you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. The first thing that we do on Fridays is Friday shout outs. Today I want to give a shout out and it's going to my own cousin, Tammy. Thank you so much for being so encouraging, so transparent and just being amazing, I'm tuning into her lives. My little cousin, who is her son, he go lives and he has bro reads where kids can tune in and have him read to us. And it's just so engaging and it's so amazing. And I truly feel like it gives me an outlet just to be myself and just to see somebody else going through life and going through life with God. And I truly want to give a shout out to you so thank you so much and i pray all is well on your end she is all the way in alabama and i love you guys please greet the family from us to you all right you guys i know you guys saw this tumblr right here and i did this tumblr and it says stronger than my fears and it's very perfect because that's what i'm going to be talking about today with you guys you guys already know go grab your coffee your beverage your snacks quarantine snacks get them and come on right back here so we can go ahead and jump into this stronger than my fears topic with you see you right back here be sure to check out Seabird Creations at etsyshop.com where you can get customized moment mugs and moment mugs designed by the Soren Seward family. We look forward to sending you your very own moment mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. Okay, so you guys saw the tumbler. Mm -hmm. The tumbler. Yes, I make tumblers and uh, I will leave the link down below. And you also probably already saw a commercial for you to go and check out the Etsy shop. So on here it says, stronger than my fears. And as encouraging and as amazing and as true as this is, I don't always feel like this all the time, that I am stronger than my fear. With all that's going on with the virus and the quarantine and the constant news and the constant post of the negative and the deaths and all the sadness and things like that. If I'm honest with myself and being true to myself, I don't always feel like I'm stronger than my fears. It seems like since this all have happened, I've been having moments where I'm not this that's on this tumbler. I have to remind myself and I have to pray and say, hey, you know, what's, what's really going on? I feel like a lot of people might be going through that and I really wanted to come and share it and say, it's okay if you're having moments where you're not stronger than your fear and you have to reevaluate and you have to go back to your scripture and you have to go back to God and you have to pray for him to strengthen you. It's okay. When I find myself where the fear is taking over, I feel like after I done went through the moment, I feel bad because I'm like, man, I don't have faith. My faith isn't as strong as I thought it was. And you know, dad, I let my anxiety win again. And I start to beat myself up and that's not, how that works you're not a loser you're not, you don't suck you're not weak that doesn't mean you don't have no faith you had a moment we are going through some trying times right now and this isn't the norm for everybody everybody to a certain extent is experiencing anxiety depression and just a lot of emotions right now and I want to let you know if you have a moment where your fear wins for that moment however long that moment might last you're gonna get past that because we're sitting here right now that moment didn't last moments they will come 
each day that we get up we have to remember that we are stronger than our fears we have to remember who we are in Christ we have to remember who God has told us that we are and I have been reminding myself and my husband has been reminding me because being in the house with all these people our kids feed off of us or our kids listen to us and my kids tend to know when mommy's a little off a little bit or when mommy's a little timid even though I let them see that I am normal I still have to be you know the super mom like everything's good everything's okay a lot of things that I'm experiencing like it's like dang I haven't felt this way in so long but that doesn't mean that I didn't get past that it's just it's humbling it's humbling to be like man you know I'm afraid you know like this this doesn't feel good right now right now I feel like my fear is you know winning then you have to dig into God's Word and I always say this all the time I know a lot of people don't believe the way that I believe I have lost People, people have distanced themselves from me before the social distancing because of my faith. But God always put things on my heart to share with other people and my faith keeps me. My relationship with God keeps me and I can't downplay that. The minute I start to downplay God, my fear is going to win. And the only way that my fear will not win is if I don't downplay God. God has to be present in my life because I'm not strong without him. I can't face my fears, I can't face this virus, I can't face the anxiety, I can't face all the emotions that comes with what this world has right now if God is not there. So in order for me to be stronger than my fears, God has to be strong in my life and I have to constantly remind myself that He has not given me a spirit of fear. He don't want me to react out of fear. He wants me to walk with faith and boldly and reciting what he has told me. So I had to come and share that with you guys. And I appreciate you guys for even letting me be able to come and be myself, you know, because things just kind of rough around here. But anyways, I pray that everyone is safe. I pray that everyone is taking the proper precautions and staying prayed up, reaching out to your support system, you guys, because that is needed. God is bringing so many people together through communicating through FaceTime, text, so many ways besides actually physically touching them. You know, remember social distances, back up, back up. Okay, all right, I got a little, I got a little carried away. But anyways, y'all know what I was trying to say. So, thank you for joining me. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And Lord willing, you guys, I will see you right back here next Friday. Next Friday. We're gonna make it. We are going to make it. God got this. We love you guys for real. Peace out.